I find it totally interesting that there really are only two kinds of people on this planet. There are people who have a desire to see the truth propagated, and there are people that have a desire to extract money from other people. That's the two types of men in particular that I see on planet Earth today. You're either a man that wants to see the truth advanced and propagated on planet Earth, or you're a man that wants to try and get as much money and or attention out of other human beings as possible. Those are the two types of men that I see living today. Um, disturbingly, there's a lot of people that aren't even searching for truth. They're what I call the cop-out crowd. It's saying, just bedazzle me, just entertain me, just... It makes me cry. Folks, everyone has these questions. Why am I here? What is this universe? Who made me? Does God exist? What happens after I die? What should I do with my life? Does God care? Does God have a plan for my life? Who can I trust? What do I follow? Who is the true religion? What are the true beliefs? What am I supposed to believe about this planet? Who do I follow? What do I do with my life? Everyone has those questions. And if you don't get those questions satisfyingly answered, then um, it's a great tragedy. And um, uh, what I fear with the young people and um, this, this party crowd that we have is that they've given up. They've, they've given up, you know, their search for the answer. Or they never put in that much effort anyways. And they gave up. And they said, well, my biological father didn't care about me. He didn't teach me anything. I didn't get it from my small search. And they just gave up and they didn't actually get their answer. What a tragedy. Because it is findable. God is not hidden <laughs> beyond reason. If you seek him, you will find him. If you want the truth, you will get the truth. Um, okay. So, we're going to continue to go through the Bible. Um, and then actually there's one thing that, uh, there's a book that I really want to promote, that I really want to uh, share. It's by Dr. Walt Brown. Um, go to his website, creationscience.com, and read the whole book free. It's all online. It's an entire website that's been made on the book. And it describes the flood of Noah and uh, how epic it was. I'm probably going to spend the next little while working on that, actually, because it's such good knowledge. It's the most important book I've read outside the Bible for understanding why this world is physically what it is. So actually, I'm going to dig in right now.